Good evening everyone, it's me MB back with another video and yes, I did it. Take a look at this. The helmet is done. I have slammed a tier 1 life to it using Harvest Craft. I have removed the physical damage to spells using the Harvest Craft and I added the nearby enemies take increased physical damage using the Harvest Craft. This is how it looks like. Beautiful, isn't it? Yes, it needs some divine orbs, that's for sure, and there's still no good enchantment on it, but, well, I just want to show you how I actually crafted this one, and um, what I did afterwards, so, just enjoy, and after that I'll talk a little bit about the enchantments. So. What we have seen is that um, the simulator just tells us to use the pristine, the dense, and the bound fossil. So you can see I use the alchemical resonator because they are dirt cheap. So you need scoring orbs to actually process with the item. That's what I do. Um, so I just get my base, and that's here. And then go to my big tab and actually start the craft. One second. Clean this up real quick. And there we go. So we clear this. And then just wish me luck, I guess. Okay, so what you see here minion one, uh, plus one level socketed minion games. It has minion life and it has minion damage. It's pretty good, but it's not good enough. And um, I, I, when you when you buy a base for five exalted, um, you want like almost perfect result. So at least I want a plus three level and minion damage. When I get those two, then I can like use it for a time and consider re-rolling when I have some currency. So this is nothing. Minion life cares res, no, that's nothing. Ooh, why? Why? Holy, wow. So guys, here it is. Finally, I got the remove random physical modifier from an item. And I'm gonna remove the physical to spells from my helmet right about now. Um, yep, let's just do it. So there we go. Um, it freed up a prefix that I will most likely fill with the uh, life roll tier 2, tier 1 would be super cool, but I have to get the harvest first. But you can see I'm doing some progress on my helmet, that's pretty cool I think. Well, so now I'm gonna add my physical mod to the helmet. You can see I got an open suffix right there, so just Add the other mod with augment a magic or rare item with a new physical modifier and go. And there we go. That's it. So just life missing, missing, and then I'm done. Okay, guys. Maybe final step. Just add tier one life to this, and then I'm done. <laughs> Did it. So this helmet is completed right now. Welcome back. Uh, I hope you enjoyed um, the crafting process as much as I did. Um, I just want to quickly go over the enchantment possibilities. Uh, the, the yeah, what are good enchantments and what are bad enchantments and. Um, now that the helmet is already done and I have uh, completed the crafting process, I can no longer use like enchanted fossils or something like that. So this is normally something that you would start with or you um, buy the um, elder bone helmet with the proper enchant. But I can tell you that's 
super expensive so um, I just want to quickly show you something if you for example you want to buy a bone helmet item level 86 non mirrored non corrupted and you want the carrion golem deal increased damage enchantment on it then for the eternal one no for the merciless enchantment that's eight exalted already um, if you want to have the eternal one then this is whew, that's 39 exalted just for the base item back when i started crafting i didn't have the currency it was pretty expensive back then as well if you no uh, i just want to sh just wanted to show you this straight up but i want to show you how good or bad the carrion golem enchantment actually is because i get asked this or got asked this you know, quite often now why don't you use the increased on the carrion golem deal more damage and this enchantment doesn't exist at all so there is an enchantment and i can show you straight up this is my pub by the way um set up like it is currently i got 1.4.5 million shaper dps per carrion golem which is way higher blah blah i talked about this a lot um but okay i want to show you what the eternal carrion golem damage enchantment actually would do to my build so i go select my helm and then i select the carrion golem the eternal lab enchantment and say enchant and then you can already see what this would mean for the dps increase and you can see it's eighty thousand. and eighty thousand in this build is a little bit more than five percent more damage to my build using this helm enchant and in my opinion that's that's absolutely nothing too crazy um, for example if i go to the tree and i just select like three skill points right there and, and that's not even the damage route um, then i get more than 80k dps so um, that's the reason why i don't think that this helm enchant is the best enchant that you can get and i don't think that it is necessary at all but when you have the currency go for it but do it before you actually finish the craft because afterwards um, running the lab to get this enchant is, uh, to get this enchant is almost impossible but i can show you what i think is the better enchant if you have the possibility to get it um and that's the flesh offering one because i use the flesh offering in my build uh, you might have already seen this and if you go for the eternal one then the helmet enchant is a straight 120k increase as a reminder it was 80k with the carrion golem one and even the merciless damage enchant uh, flesh offering enchant is better than the eternal carrion golem one so that might be an option for you um it is way cheaper that i can tell already because you can see right here okay now that's double influenced helmets but this one here for example oh my god that's super cheap this one is super cheap already i would i would 100 percent buy this helmet if i had the currency because the flesh offering and chan and it's even the eternal one um just offers you more damage than the carrion golem enchant if you use flesh offering of course but why won't you use it it's almost free and you have the time anyways because your carrion golems do all the work so in my opinion this is the better enchant that's just what i wanted to say take care see you in the next video bye